AI never takes a break. And Alibaba just released a model having over a trillion parameters. This really is proof that scaling is effective, but it's a pity that the model isn't open source and lacks open weights. It was developed by one of the most famous open weight model creators, which is Quen, a division of Alibaba. So, the Quen 3 Max Instruct Preview is a new model which was developed using over 1 trillion different parameters. This new system is available for use in only a couple of ways. You are able to interact with it using QuenChat, and it is also offered through the Alibaba Cloud API. It can be found on OpenRouter too. However, this is the very first time Quen has launched a model that is not an open weight but is available for the public to try, having over a trillion parameters. This development seems to prove that if you continue increasing the compute, the data, and the model size, the system will perform better. Regarding the performance metrics they have shared, this new model is superior to the Claude Opus 4 non-thinking system, so it is a non-thinking system which is a point you should remember. Quen typically offers a distinct thinking and also a distinct non-thinking system, and their Mac series is the one that they do not usually make open source. Quen has stated that this outperforms their prior top performing model. It's a long name, the Quen 3235BA22B2507 model. Also, internal testing and initial user reviews suggest the model provides superior performance, wider knowledge, is more skilled in conversation, and is also more capable with agentic functions, plus better instruction adherence. Additionally, on an independent benchmark that involves using large language models to complete word connections, a game from the New York Times, you will notice that Quen 3 Max isn't performing that well. It is a preview model, I get that, but when you look, Grok 4 is right here, and while a lot of these models with thinking capability, even when you look at the non-thinking part of the spectrum, Quen 3 Max isn't really competitive with the other options. For instance, Claude Sonne 4 with reasoning surpasses this. There is also GLM 4.5, which I believe is most likely a thinking model, and then there is the GPT-0 120 billion parameter model, which is much better than Quen 3 Max. So, I realize the 1 trillion parameter count is appealing, but we need to investigate it to determine for what specific applications this model is better suited and then use it based on that. I don't believe this system is revolutionary based on its benchmarks. Instead, I believe this system is revolutionary because it was trained on over a trillion parameters and Quen possesses the solid technology for that training. And also because this is in the 1 trillion parameter model class. The system is accessible for you to go and converse with over at chat quen.ai. You are able to just choose the Quen 3 Max model and then begin talk. The main issue for me personally regarding this specific model is, to begin with, I'm not able to do much with a 1 trillion parameter open source model since I lack the hardware to run it. But usually when a company open sources a model or provides the open weights for it or even shares small details on how the system was trained, it pushes the whole open ecosystem forward. This allows the open ecosystem to stay competitive with the huge corporations that have trillion dollar, billion dollar funding and that also receive significant government backing. The price of the system on its own feels quite high to me. So if you look at Quen 3 Max, under a 128,000 token window, the input price is $1.20 and the output price is $6. And when you check the input cost for above a 128,000 context window, it has a $3 input cost and a $15 output cost. Now let's put that into perspective. So this, when you put it against GPT-5, GPT-5 is only $1.25 for input and $10 for output. This is for an output of 128,000 maximum output and it has a 400,000 context window. Meanwhile, Quen can only output 32,000 tokens, while its total context window is 256,000. So, from a technical standpoint, this is pricier than GPT-5. Now, you could make the case that GPT-5 is deeply discounted, but who really cares, right? At this very moment, if you are looking for the best model, perhaps Quen 3 Max is not the greatest model for you to be using at this very moment. I appreciate that we can see a preview of at least the scale of the model that this could be, which is over 1 trillion parameters. But I do not believe this model is going to be a substitute for any of your Claude 4.1 Opus or Claude 4 Sonnet, 
or frankly, I'd say the GPT-5 of the world. I mean, it could be superior for specific jobs, as has been pointed out here, like complex programming-related jobs, but I don't see this as a simple replacement for the top model in your process. Tell me what your thoughts are on this new model. If you want to use the model, go to quen.ai and then talk with the model, but if not, I will see you in the next video. That's the end of today's show. Thank you all for your support and watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave comments. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. See you in the next episode. And as always, I will be on the lookout for the newest and coolest AI tools to share with you. So if you enjoyed this video, remember to like, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for more content.